Hello everyone, welcome back to Bowser's Fury. So, where were we? Yeah, be careful not to hit that lava. Come on. I know, I'm dead silent. Because I really have nothing to talk about right now. Some days you just can't get rid of a bomb. Yeah, speaking of Batman, I did not see the Batman. Well, I did on a bit of it on HBO Max until all they they went like with the whole white privilege thing. And I know people are gonna groan about it, but I was like, really? We're gonna do this? We're gonna rich shame Bruce Wayne like in the comics now? Like, the Batman comics need, like, like, kind of lost its identity when they got rid of Wayne Manor, or took away Bruce's money, a, like, his billionaire status. And killed off Alpha. Those are the three key ingredients to Batman. In my opinion. But we're trying to do a Batman without money. There's been tons of stories like that. Don't say it's been done before. It has. And I was hoping the Batman... ...and would be good. The only thing good about it was... ...the 
decides to take on Commissioner Gordon. And the Penguin. That was it. Like, I wanted to give Robert Patterson a chance. Because, again, I'm pretty sure it's not easy being known as Edward from Twilight. But he just came across as weak. Eek, like, I couldn't get a fear factor from him. him. And that's one of the things about Batman. He's supposed to be scary. Like, they tried going the Arkham route with the suit, which I think is pretty good. Uh, but the bat symbol could be larger. Because right, that's the hardest point on the armor. But yeah, if you're making that out of a gun, I get it. But the Batmobile was just some weak sauce. Bring my pops, it was a modified version of a, a pre-existing car. Don't get me wrong, there have been Batmobiles that pulled that off, but this one, this one was not it. And that, and the whole character arc of this Batman himself was just downright boring. Like, it's not near as interesting as it was in Arkham Knight with its detective work. Or the animated series. Like, they tried to do stuff from the Arkham games, like the Zap Clubs, which brutal. And they, that did work, but everything else it just didn't click. I, I, and I'm not seeing the sequel, because I didn't enjoy it. And for it to be like on HBO Max now, says a lot. And don't give me that the pandemic's still going on. On Spider-Man No Way Home, Home Made Bank. Along with the sequel to the Sonic movie. Movie thing. I think we can and go with a mask for like an hour or two if you're that if you're that uptight about it. And quite honestly, I will. Like I'm not ragging on you for it. I know why you have those masks on, but like, like there are some people that are just like done with it. Me, not so much, because I'm a little careful, but I'm not telling others how to live their lives. Alright, just go ahead and cancel me. Hey, I'm just saying it how I think it is, and how I do my life. I'm gonna let you do you, and I'm gonna let me do me. Just don't shut me down on MTV. <laughs> A real Slim Shady? Nobody? Yeah, I think we reached the point in the Mario series where nothing is too wacky in design. 
behind this. This is just proof of concept. Like a cat seagull. Oh. This was also living proof. What happens if I tap Yoshi? Grab my Smash Bros. Yoshi. Okay, I should have really saved that for later. I feel like a complete idiot now. <laughs> I just want it until like they get like that back in the Batman comics. I, I refuse to read them. Eat them. Alfred Pennyworth's death. That's uh, sure. Er, there's been a death in the in the Wayne family before. But taking away his money. He moving him out of Wayne Manor. And don't pretend you're like trying to reshape Batman's image if by killing what made him great. Just don't. Or, or try to pass it off as as well. What would Batman be like without money? Hmm. Let me think. There's been comics like that beforehand, like Citizen Wayne. Or the one where he's lost out in the jungle. Which was a fairly recent one. On in terms of years. Or the fact that, like, a uh, billionaire bad. Dude. Of course, there's gonna be, be bad billionaires. There's, there are good people, and there's bad people. Oh. Oh. It's really how you look at things in life. Hey. But just taking away what made Batman an awesome, um, like taking away his resources. Yeah, big slap in the face. Hey, so he's supposed to be there in case the Justice League goes. I don't know, berserk. That's why he has all that stuff. And don't give me that he's a privileged white man. And you don't regain your parents. And 
parents. Go see Mask of the Phantasm if you still think he's privileged. Please. I'll be waiting here. Here for your apology. Hey, Tony Stark on the other hand? Yeah, he's more down to earth. That I can get why he... He wanted to regulate himself a little. Oh, but even then in his own comics he was done with the apology tour. Or, and they handled it in a way that was awesome. Um, like getting him back to basics. This tower with Batman? Not so much. And they're like, oh, he can never do it again. And you know what? He's been wanted by the government. And Amanda Waller knows who he is. is. So this shouldn't be a surprise. Guys, that the feds are after him. Unless they pull something like how Tony Stark, like, regained his fortune by himself in the comics, then yeah. No, I refuse to read it. Yeah, I'm just gonna read up on the spoilers page and turn off ad blocker, because I know that's how you get... I profit off of it. It when nobody reads them. I'll turn on ad blocker. Ugh. Hello. I'm getting a snapshot. I can. Where's the logo? No, I am not using that for the thumbnail. Oh, we're just gonna stick with that one thumbnail. I'm sorry I'm so heated about it, it's just... Come on! Like, I'm not trying to get political or anything. And, or reg on, on your affiliation. Or your stance politically or something like that. Or rain on your parade, but like, come on, man. And that, that, that's just, this is just ridiculous at this point. I, I know what you're doing. Anyway. However, I am fond of Tim Drake being by in Robin again. That I'm okay with. But I mean, in that woman was a lesbian to begin with, so. Yeah. Well, not originally, but she is. At least this current incarnation. Kate Kane. And, yeah. Yeah, my biggest question is... is why hasn't his boyfriend been handed a cape and cowl yet to the Bat family? From what I'm told. From what I've seen from the spoiler. 
that might be the only Batman comic I get in recent years until they fix this whole fiasco with the status quo. Oh, that and Mr. Conroy's entry in DC Prime. I, and I'm straight and white! I know, very political, huh? Again, they could have just given Catwoman the line of all those rich, insert swear word. And it would have been fine. Or even fat cats. Because she's Catwoman! And a pun here and there wouldn't be bad. That. Tell me I'm wrong. And quite honestly, I was hoping for Robert Patterson to come through like Ben Affleck did. I just didn't get that fear back. I'm hoping maybe in the sequel he, he, I get that if it ever comes to HBO Max because I think that's the only way I'm gonna be w watching that. I'm sorry, but this kind of got me here. I know I'm talking about Batman in a Mario video, but like, come on, what else do I have to talk about? I'm sorry if I'm like a broken record about this. It's really got me tech. And I'm hoping with this whole Shadow War thing, they just dunk Alfred in the Lazarus pit. But I doubt they will. They brought back Batman Inc. apparently. After, when the preview pages says Bruce Wayne does not have the, have the funds to manage it. But suddenly he does. Dude, just just give us back the manor, the Bat Cave. And Alfred. And his money. And maybe make Tim Drake's boyfriend a part of the Bat family. Like, give him a, his own personification. And I think maybe it's time Damian Wayne had stepped on, on away from the Robin mantle, because Tim Drake is occupying. Again. Or, if you really want to be, like, diverse, Give us a black robin! Man. Something that ain't white. A character that isn't white. Something different. Have Tim return to the role of Red Robin.
you're up for it. I am glad Tim back is Robin, because he's the best one, in my opinion. But I think it's time we got a new, new Robin. Really, stop trying to reinvent the status quo. And I have read the, um... The, uh... New Superman that is apparently bisexual. Where John Kent takes up the mantle while, uh... Clark Kent is away. I'm gonna say this. It's good. But why isn't his boyfriend... I don't know. Fighting crime with them! I'm a practical man, not a bigot. I mean, he has the power of... I mean, John's boyfriend has the power of intangibility. That could be very useful! Instead, you make him, like, Lewis Lane? Tom, oh, I love your writing. I really do, Tom Taylor. I love your rain. But I feel like that's a wasted opportunity. As for the Flash, being... Like this new one being non-binary or something? I guess I'm cool with it. I honestly don't know what happened. Them binary means. Means like like is that like instead of like male female you're like a one or two you're like three. Again, I'm like an old dinosaur from the two thousands. And but I'm not a jerk. At some point, I can be. Okay, like sometimes we all have our moments. But yeah.
Like, if they did the whole white privilege thing in the Batman, like, like, back to that subject, if they did that, like, in a more playful manner, like, uh, you privileged white guy. Like, uh, like, you privileged white boy. <laughs> then that would be fine. That, that would be fine. That would be a playful kind of teasing manner. And I felt like when they like tried to get serious with it, like like they they, they knew it was gonna have backlash. Gosh, so why did they do? Right, and it's a very divisive talk, and it can be downright hurtful sometimes. Yeah, believe me, if I was writing the, the Batman books, they'd be completely different. But I'm not. I'd like to, one day maybe. But I again I'm not. I honestly I I think like Batman needs like doesn't need a change in status quo. Oh, they need to go like the route Chuck Dixon went. And my Bruce Tim or Paul Dean. Don't change the status quo. Add, add something more. Like new character, new villain, and that's also what made Scott Snyder's run on Batman unforgettable. Well, in my humble opinion. We're gonna miss this. Yep. Tom King's run on Batman was also good too. Like he gave me a Batman that actually cares about saving his enemies too. Don't get me wrong. Oh, but I saw that a lot more again. And believe me, it's not like other incarnations didn't try. Ah, uh, but he's not taking any any flex from the bad guys either. Herp, but I've been seeing a little bit less. Yes, and the way he helped play base, good. Like, redeem. We're gonna miss this again, aren't we? Like, when I read, like, like, James Tyon's run, on Batman, it was, like, went from competent to, like, completely off the ball. Oh, 
Oh, like they dumbed him down. What happened? You just can't say to me that this wasn't like some rebranding because of politics or the political crime. Here's the thing. I don't care. Here, and there's other ways to handle that. Could make Bruce, I don't know, spend his money helping people like he did in the animated series. Or stuck to your guns. And don't, like, conform. Like, I'm not trying to be political here, but this... I know what they were doing with trying to reshape this image from the comics. You just care. And normally, I'm okay with change. This is not something I'm good with. Feels like an alienation of the whole Batman identity. <laughs> like Wee Manor. Her. The Batcave. Alfred. Having a ton of money. Making cool gadgets. I like the beginning of his games' his run. Until, like. Like, Bruce lost everything. Hey, that's when it got stamped. Like, post Joker 1. Or, when it got stamped. And suddenly he takes off? For parts unknown. James Town. Uh, yeah. No. I was hoping a shake-up in writers would change this. But, no. Okay, there we go, there we go, we got him. I didn't know this conversation was gonna come back to bite me, but you know what? At this point... All you're doing is just making my life more interesting. You wanna do that diversity stuff? Okay. Hey! What DC Future State did it with handling Batman on a budget. Good! Good. Giving the mantle to another person. Good. Having a black bat. Good. Is it was practical? Oh, written well and handled well.
Oh, making Damien Way in like project everything like like all the character development he went through. Like the R in Robin is for redemption. This doesn't mean anything anymore. Not good. Killing off Alfred. Getting rid of Wayne Manor. Like getting rid of his money. Don't tell me like you, you, this, 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 this is like like a creative thing. It's not. I see right through it. Alright, I'm done being a broken record about it. Uh, other than, like, the, the only thing I'm probably getting from the Batman and books this year is probably the DC Pride special. And that's because Kevin is writing it. He's right in the story in there. Yes, I have. I know how to do it. Fire flower in the bag. And we completely missed the mark on that one. Oh, hello. What's your name? <laughs> okay, we already got this one. I'm just getting a few more coins extra and heading back for cat trying to be missed. Sorry, I went on a rant there. Like a broken record, but yeah. Really has me steam. I mean, I didn't want to get political, but that usually is kind of like... Not so great nowadays. Anyways, I know some people are like... Well, if you're not political, you don't care. I do care. I just don't want that kind of stuff up in my life. Hey, I do not need that noise. Wait, you have to think this can all be a double-edged sword.
I mean, eventually I felt one day I'd, I'd probably have to speak up. In some shape or way or form, and I probably wanted to do this in a minimal... ...minimally, uh... ...as of way as possible, but, you know. People be crazy. Alright. Now for the grand finale. Ha! Skyling and Bowser works. Glad they fixed that from Odyssey. Yeah, go back to sleep. All right, that's it for now.